I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live and up And this the generation does not intend to founder in the backwash of the coming age of space. We mean to be a part of it. We mean to lead it. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out and no of landing a man on the moon and which expects to be the, the leader Earth. of other nations can expect to stay behind. A president who chose the moon as our new frontier and a king who took us to the mountaintop and pointed the way to the promised land. Listen, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. I was nine years old in 1969. No one had ever seen anything like it. A human being was actually walking on the moon. Overnight our world had changed and we all knew that it was never going to be the same. Everybody in the world came together as one. I know that sounds strange today, but it's true. We all felt a sense of unity. Of accomplishment. Of national pride. We had heroes, vision, leadership, and purpose. At first, it was a release of the troubles of the day. But then it became so much more. I knew I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself. The discoveries we made changed our world. They made my life better. More productive. More convenient. Entertaining. The scientific advances saved many lives. We found new medicines. New technologies. We knocked down barriers. And changed our world forever. We'll set the bar higher. Rise above our social issues and global strife. And once again, unite as one. We can improve ourselves and our world. Exploration lifts us up and inspires us. We can see beyond our world today and shape our own future. What if we were not explorers? What would our world be like today? We choose to go to the moon in this decade. And do the other things. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our abilities and skills. Because that challenge is one that we are willing to accept. One we are unwilling to postpone. And one that we intend to win. Isn't it time for America to lead again?